As we have seen in the previous lecture, that the telco network is consisting of three subnetwork, and one of them is a radio access network. Here we are talking about the radio access network in more detail. On the left side, I have taken a picture of a cell site or a mast, and this can be of a different types. Here it is a wooden pool where there are different antennas connected on the top of it. These antennas are basically taking or communicating with the users in its vicinity and take that information back from the black cables, which are feeder cables here, to the cabinet, which is lying on the bottom. Now, this cabinet is having certain devices inside it, if you see on the right side. So we have one is the baseband unit on the left side, and another are the radio units which are used for the different technologies. Now, depending upon the different frequencies, we have a different radio units in this case. On the left side, the baseband unit is doing some heavy lifting here. It is processing the data at the layer two and layer three. And don't worry about the functionalities of these units. We'll talk about them in more detail in the subsequent slides, even at the protocol level. Now here, let's understand how it is connecting with each other. The radio module is going back through these jump cables and going back to the antenna in this case. Whereas the, these cable, if you see, um, which is the black cable, and these cables are connecting with each and every radio modules. And these cables are known as a CIPRI cable, which is CPRI. It's a, it's a common public radio interface, which is used to connect or communicate between the radio module and the baseband unit. Now, this is a standard which is developed and defined uh, so that there would have a common public interface between these devices so that whatever the kind of processing in terms of inverse Fourier transform processing or it could be related to the modulation, channel coding or interleaving, what are the information which is communicating between these two devices that will be done by SIPRI. In going forward 5G, this particular interface is getting evolved and it is getting more open now. So we'll talk about those interfaces in more detail also. So, so far here, the baseband unit is then further connected on the other side with the transport network. So there is an ethernet cable, which is going towards a transport network, and then it will be connected to the core network. So this transport network, as we have seen, it can be a microwave antenna. On the left side, we have seen there is a microwave antenna, which is taking it back to the core network or it can be a fiber cable, which is going um, underground or maybe over the poles. And then it is going back again to the data center. So this is how at the radio access network, the overall scenario looks like.